Hello, and welcome to another tutorial video on how to make a 2x2 hidden piston door. Now before I begin, I wanted to start off by saying that I am in creative mode so I can fly around and break blocks instantly, and that you're, the blocks you're going to need are a button, a lever, a uh, glowstone, redstone repeater, redstone torch, redstone, glass, I use glass, you can see, you can use any block you want, sticky pistons, and I use white wool for all the redstone important blocks. So that should help you. Now here's the example that I made, and it's this seamless door, so you can't tell that it's um, anything special, depending on how you build it. But when I flick this lever back, the secret door is revealed, and you can go through the hallway and do that kind of stuff. But we need to figure out how to make it, and there's some tricky wiring that's involved, and that's all of this. So I will build it with you, I just wanted to describe some of these parts. The trickiest thing is the timing on the piston arms, which I'll go over, and then the, um, the new glowstone property to make it vertical. And over here I have it built so that way if you don't have any glowstone you can wire it like this. I also have the world in the description below, so if you're a little confused you can go download it and walk around and see all of my other tutorials, which kind of goes on for a few miles. <laughs> And then over here, I have it set up as a T flip flop. So if you're interested in getting this to work with the secret door, uh, you can. The best way to describe it is it's a toggle. And every time I click this button, it switches this block around. And if this block isn't here, then power isn't being sent because it acts as a conduit for this redstone torch. So enough of me blabbering about all the mechanics, and let's just build it because that seems to be the easiest way to understand how it works. So here I have a 1x2 separated by it. It goes up to another 1x2 and then down to a 1x2. And this right here is going to power the bottom pistons. And I like to start with it because it's a nice base. And then we can build up instead of going um, top to bottom. So I'm going to start off by making a 3x6 um, rectangle. And I'm going to wire it like such. And from here we can see... We kind of have this little um, outline of where our stuff needs to go. Now, by following what I do, I'm going to place a piston here and here, and I'm going to mirror it on this side. Things tend to be very mirrored with this tutorial, so now it looks like this. Now, from here, we're going to go out. We're going to place two more pistons, and this is the beginning of the secret passageway. This is going to push th these two pistons here and here out. And it's also going to push the block that we choose as the portal block. And that would be, say, this glowstone. But before we can do that, we need to wire it up. And over here, I have it shaped like this. It looks a little strange, but it works. So judging by that, it's going to look like this. Come down to here, and then another one comes down. And the only place you need redstone is here and here. Now we're going to mirror it on this side. One here, here, and then come up from down here and place one here and here. So it should look like this. Now when these are powered, it will power all of the pistons. Because this one powers this guy. This one powers this one, and I believe the one below it. And then you have this one that gets powered. And it's, it's tricky, but uh, it works very well. And it's nice for making it a nice compact design. Also, if you find a way to make this more compact, please let me know. Maybe you can leave a video response and we can all benefit from it. So here I'm going to do the mirror thing again. Everything's mirrored. So it comes up two from the sides, and then you have repeaters pointing onto the blocks like this. And then we're going to wire it up. So if we were to send power, everything would do its part. Okay, now the last thing that needs to be powered are these two blocks right here. So we already have these four back here, these four. And then these two. So these ones, these are the ones that are going to need to have their uh, redstone. And this is where I'm going to use glowstone. You can use a block that just wraps up. But for the most compact design, uh, glowstone works pretty well. So I'm going to place a block here, here, and then I'm going to come up to like this. So now the redstone goes up to this. And I know it looks strange, but if I was to add power to this, it will go all the way up. Um, we have a nice vertical wiring now with glowstone. 
So now coming off the glowstone, I'm going to have it come this two out, one forward, and then back like that. So it kind of is like a Z shape. And this is going to power both of the pistons that are going to end up right here. Alright, so now let's take a look at what it would look like. And actually, before we do that, we need some kind of input. So I'm going to have this little cloth or wool come back around, and then we'll put a lever here. Now, usually the way you want to have this set up is that so right when you enter all the important wiring, you add a repeater. So that way the signal strength can reach all the way up to this block, because it can be difficult if it doesn't. And then you have a timing difference. So it's very important that you have this repeater right before everything begins. I don't need this. Okay. So back to the front. If we were to press this lever, we'd run into an issue. Everything would come out great. And say this was our special block, that's the secret. When we pull it back, it doesn't get uh, extracted. And that's because when we get take away the power, these blocks are still pushing out when these side blocks pull back. So they don't get pulled back at all. So to uh, ensure that we don't run into that, we need to have these blocks slower, or these pistons slower than these. So we're going to add two ticks of delay on this repeater that ensures all four of these pistons um, don't retract until these ones have lost their power as well. So adding two ticks of delay over here. And so now we have, say, the secret blocks. And then when we hit the lever again, everything gets pulled, and then you can go through the secret entrance like before. Uh, that was the tutorial for how to make a hidden secret 2x2 two two door with pistons. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comment box below or any uh, just comments. I'll try to respond to everybody. And there are only one issue I have found with this, and that's that it has a slight delay. The bottom one closes before the front one, and I have no idea why. Now if we go back to my Hearst example over here, we have the same issue. But notice when we take all of the blocks away, let's just get rid of this so you can see a little bit better. They will retract at the same time as if there's no problem. And then say we add two blocks here. At the same time they get pulled back. But the second we add another block, they switch up and they have a little bit of delay. I have no idea why. So if you guys figure it out, maybe you can leave a, a comment um, and you can tell everybody why that's happening and we can fix it together. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. And don't forget to leave some feedback and see you later.